Alright YouTube, this is Anti Bushido and I'm going to show you how to customize your desktop. Now first, you will need to go to, well, I'll get back to GNOME do later. First you'll need to go up to Applications, go into Software Center, and this is uh, for Ubuntu 10.10. It also can go for later distros. Um, first, I like to say try to get uh, GNOME do. Um, and then you just do. Okay. Well, it's it's one of the featured uh, things on the desktop. You just click on it. It is basically like. Uh, the dot bar down here but all you would have to do is just use the super key and the space bar and just type in whatever you want um, another feature that you might want to try is uh, if you're not used to it yet is uh, compass and you would get the advanced desktop effects right here um, and the simple configuration this um, this is how I basically started off and then I'll eventually go to the advanced settings you can also download Emerald theme manager which also helps you to get um, like your eye like your clothes and your minimize and the maximize thing up there and makes it look pretty cool and also go ahead and get compass fusion icon just in case sometimes it might crash but not all the time. Uh, after you're done installing those, um, for GNOME Do, all you would have to do is just press Control uh, Super and Spacebar. If you wanted to go to Preferences and just do Appearance, choose which uh, appearance you would like. Um, you can go Classic. You can go with the Mini which is pretty awesome. I already customized that and it looks pretty much like that. Uh, but i rather go with the glass look. It's one of my favorites. Um, see here. Close that and get a glass look. Now, um, the first start off with Compass, you just right click on your desktop, go to change best, uh, desktop background, go to visual effects. And preferences. Once you clicked on customize, you would go to animations, enable animation, and to enable the extra animations, because at, at first it's going to be kind of grayed out. You would go to uh, system administration and synaptic package manager, and just type in your password. And you would go to add <clears throat> once it's finished loading compass. Uh, and you would go fusion. And you eventually find compass fusion plugins extras and just click on that and install it. And once it's installed, um, you're able to enable the extra animations and you can choose anything from none to random airplane you got a whole list of it but i like mine's as the beam up because i like star trek <laughs> uh i also have that for clothes but that's up to you this is this is how you customize your uh compass basically was basic uh for the effects i just have a ring switcher and uh, to enable the wobbly, just click enable wobbly. That gives you the little wobble effect right there. And you can click uh, desktop wall or appearance in the queue. Now, at first, it's going to be kind of big until after you set it in the advanced part of Compass. But what that basically does is allow you to I mean, it's right, allows you to zoom out as a desktop cube from top to bottom you can just swivel it around 
and to do that is, is just pretty much control alt and the left key if you're on a laptop or just simply uh, just clicking the uh, scroll bar on your mouse just hold that down and just moving your mouse around uh, and that's pretty much it for the simple part and you would just close out of that and if you wanted to go to the advanced part you go to system preferences compass configuration setting manager now this is the more advanced part of compass where you get to set up how uh, your desktop zoom or desktop cube and everything comes out you can go to desktop cube uh, and choose the appearance and the sky dome the sky dome is what you see right here with the moon and everything in the background you would just enable it and then go to that click a file where you have pictures at and just choose a random file what picture whatever you want for your background to be and that sets that up <coughs> and this is also chooses the occupancy of what the desktop queue can look like so you want it to make that look like that and I just swivel over here and show you what it looks like you can just dole it down so you can see the things in the background but I like mine's pretty much uh, 100% so I can see Final Fantasy Cloud and Sephiroth are pretty cool uh, then if you want the zoom out feature for your cube to go way out you can adjust it right here uh, let me go back sorry go to rotate cube and you can adjust it all the way down at the bottom where it says zoom you can adjust it how far you want you can go halfway uh, you can go fully out which I like and people really get a kick out of that um, there's a whole other rays of what you can do you can also set up show um, like the mouse thing which uh, I'll enable it for you right now and all you have to do is just press C right there it says super and K so you press super K and you can get these little effects around your uh, your pointer and you can jazz it up a little bit choose the different colors uh, let's let's go with blue right here because that's kind of how my thing is circle around with blue a little bit like you see and it changed you can also have random colored so it'll be like uh, this rainbow looking effect you can adjust the part of uh, how the life of it if it how long does it last and you can also darken the background that's a neat little effect and you can also just press super k again to get rid of it if you don't like it and then there's the water effect which is pretty cool a lot of people get a little kick out of that it's just press control super and you can just draw water all over your screen and then you can also toggle the rain by doing shift f9 and just let it have raindrops all over your screen you can adjust the uh, how the scale is going to be. You can also turn it off as doing the same thing that you did before. Uh, go back. And like I said, there's a whole other ways on how to configure things on your desktop. Uh, you can get into your 3D window. Uh, you can do um, to the window depth, uh, you can bring that up, and yet again, just control all. See how thick the window is from the side. Get that, that. Uh, you can go with the corners a little bit. options window space you can get a lot of space for the window so it's like way out there 
And it's completely, completely up to you on how you want things. And let's see here. Oh, one more thing I would like to show is uh, some people like this, the occupancy. I have uh, see-through windows and everything. So I can have a, as you just saw, I can have a see-through window here, have a kind of see-through panes right here. You can see through everything. And that's a neat little effect that I like. And to do that, you would uh, just go to New and add a tool tip. Uh, the little mark right there, the separator, little mark you can find on your keypad next to the slash, backslash, menu, and then top in pop menu, drop down menu, and type normal, and that should go ahead, oh, yeah, that should basically go ahead and bring out the nice little feature. Um, the next video that I'll do, I'll show you how to get uh, the compass, well not compass, but uh, the emerald theme to work, also how to get uh, your dock bar, and a lot of other things, so this is Antipashito, peace.